inside lane Missing exits include to the pavement Between the lines, I'll keep my gaze straight ahead As the last stop flies by No more waiting for the gun to fire No more walking through revolving doors I've gone around once and I don't need to go around anymore Break away, forget your sober case Stop dwelling on empty words Stop stalling in the doorway And cancel the cruise control
start where you are oh i would not change a thing you were dear you were flawless will you fix my broken wing on a ledge can you see what you know you're looking for i am sure i've forgotten once you can i lost my It's the climb of a life, it's a fight, and I know we're gonna fall. Bloody knees, broken wings, and it's worth it. It's the climb of a life, it's a fight, and I know we're gonna fall. Bloody knees, broken wings, and it's worth it after all. We start again, can I see this all your way? We start again, there was so much. Life that wasn't there Growing tired Have we made this routine? Still inspired But tomorrow is In the moment we are gone This is why we carry on We carry on It's the climb of a life It's a fight And I know we're gonna fall Bloody knees, broken wings Huch, geht ja schon los. Willkommen, willkommen. Also wieder. Gucken, Bildschirmaufnahme haben wir aus. Okay. Machen wir hier Sound aus, da Sound an. Geht ja schon los. Zocken wir mal weiter. Story Mission. Ah, lassen wir das Gewebe noch einen kleinen Moment laufen. Ja, bloß 500 Coins. Und dann starten wir mit was Besserem. Okay. Ja, immer so im Start. Hm, mal überlegen. Was willst du? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> 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 
gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Bronte is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a the thing, you know, a respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. <laughs> ah, the angry cowboys, you've arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. <laughs> This is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is San Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome 
once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Good evening. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out of old Cornwall and what's his name. Milton knows where he is. Mische dich unter die Gäste im Garten. Natürlich gern. Chambers. Please to meet The truth is, since the war, the country's doomed itself. I disagree. The war? The war was 30 years ago. I was just a boy. And since then, we have fought more wars. And we will fight more again. The country tore itself up. And what do you think, sir? This is quite a town that you have here. Huh? <laughs> exactly. This man is a realist. I cannot believe I am hearing this. Excuse me. Whipped out of you like you advocate whipping the sin out of others. Sometimes, sir, the innocent are the damned. Enjoy your evening. I must go see my wife. Good evening. I keep winning. Every gambler says that, Mr. Jameson. <laughs> yes, I know. But like I said, the next big tournament, which I will not be attending, is for a game too rich for my blood. I may be a name, but I'm a sensible How do you do? Do that so? Oh, sure, I'm not a wealthy man. I run a prison. The old riverboat tournaments are for cards, sharks, and rich fools. Fine, just fine. A really big stakes game attracts oil men and such, like, from all over. My pockets are not deep enough for that. <laughs> How are you all, this man? Bonjour, monsieur. I'm a conservative man, at least. The fact is, since the war, the government has done an awful job of preserving law and order, Mr. Jameson. I agree, Major. Well, at my prison, we are doing the best to remedy that fail. You know, my friend works in the Caribbean. He faces... Jerusalem. Would you like some champagne? <laughs> if that's French culture for you, sign me up for French. It is not a global problem, but a human well, Would you like to make it? Problem. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man... This man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. I need to rejoin the party. How do you do? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. A writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, my lord, they're fantastic. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Uh, monsieur, please. 
Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Well, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Beautiful. machen, folge dem Diener ohne entdeckt zu werden. Ja, da müssen wir dann den Kontrollpunkt, ne? Auch mal starten. Da gerade eine Reffel aufgemacht. not meant for the likes of you you know this the standards in this house are slipping this is a final warning to you miss a final warning now get out of my sight Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Gehen wir mal wieder raus. Bonjour, 
monsieur. Bonjour. Je viens vous saluer. What? This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I think I found out how we can grab some of it. Big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. Uh, I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Uh. Mm -hmm. Verdacht untersuchen. Sieht aber komisch aus. Hier in der Sonne. Ganz komisch aus, sieht aus wie Grafikfehler oder sowas. Stecken wir uns erstmal Munition ein, wer weiß, so viel wir die noch brauchen. So, schauen wir mal, was wir jetzt machen. I tell you what, little Miss Romance. I 
was right. About what? Sand and ink. How so? It ain't romantic. It's evil. <laughs> evil can be very romantic. Shut up. I talked to this couple in town. They told me there's this old rumor about people drinking blood. Human blood in town. <laughs> That's just a silly old wife's tale. What? Blood drinking ain't romantic enough for you? Depends on whose blood. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> She's frightened of romance, Arthur. So she makes of nonsense. Don't we all? <laughs> Quatsch. Okay. Reverend Swanson. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Reverend. I've been wanting to ask you something. I've been wanting to for days. Okay. What is it? I can't remember. Oh, <laughs> this frightful curse. I've ruined my life with it. Then stop doing it. Oh, no, sir. I can't do that. Really. I can't. Tja. Morning, Arthur. Hey, Javier. Hosea. My lady. How are you today, Arthur? Ja, bist du hier nüchtern? Alte Schnapsdrossel. <lacht> Mein Hotte Hü. Gibt noch was zu essen? Guck mal hier. reden wir eigentlich hin. Und die Person hat schon erwähnt, dass die Bande Evelyn Miller vielleicht dabei helfen kann für den Januar im Fall in der Regenbeamte in Saumus Nies Einflug. Okay, und der? Okay. Haben wir keine Mischen? Sieht nicht so aus. Nun reiten wir mal da hin. Was? Meine Waffe ist im schlechten Zustand. Müssen wir sie mal wieder pflegen, ne? Ja, sieht schon besser aus. Bisschen Waffenöl bei Gelegenheit kaufen. An die Colts eigentlich. Was geht eigentlich noch? Da geht eigentlich noch.
Ja, mal gucken, was Zauber die bringt. Oder ob ich da wieder Kopfgeld kriege. Weiß nicht, weil ich euer Safe haben will. Den nicht öffnen. Hm. Na toll. Ich hätte erst warten müssen, bis der auf ist. Das ist ja doof. Dass ich den nicht knacken kann oder auch mitnehmen kann oder. Irgendwas machen kann. Hinsetzen, ausruhen, ja. Ist doof, ja. Hey, wo willst du hinfahren? Bist du doof? Ist da. Auf dem Kadaver und Abfälle. Gibt hier vielleicht noch was zu plündern? Okay. Hätte ja klappen können. Schade, ja, denn okay, girl. Ja. eigentlich wollte ich da durch, dummes Pferd. Hier so, brauchst du. Sunny. <lacht> Kapel, ja sehen, du spielst nur Online-Modus, ne? Ist dir nicht mit der Story, wa? Ist ja, da kann man nicht auswählen, ob man jemand anderes sein will. Da muss man den Asa zocken. schon eine gute schön lange Story kann man in Ruhe alles durchspielen Online Modus läuft ja auch nicht weg das ist wie bei GTA ob man jetzt ein paar Tage früher oder später 
äh, reinspielt, das äh, ist jetzt glaube ich auch nicht weiter wild. Mr. I believe we've met. They have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say... Uh, Can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. It's my people before you are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. Mm -hmm. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. Mm. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> And even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Trifft sich in der Nähe von Cornwall, Kerosin und Teer mit fliegender Adler. Hm. Aber bestimmt. Was ist das hier? Professor, Professor mit, seiner, mit seinem elektrischen Stuhl. Wo ist mein Pferd? Pferd? Wo bist du hier, Randpferd? Hast noch einkaufen, Pferd? Du wirst doch nicht ohne mich einkaufen. Ah. 
Mal gucken. War alles schon mal auf der Konsole gesehen. Der will ein Buch verkaufen, glaube ich. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Hey. Forget about it. Huh. Well, you're lost, buddy. Nee, 50 Dollar ist mir zu teuer für ein Buch. For the foolish are beyond That's saving. Cool, girl. Hey, partner. Hello, mister. Don't be afraid, don't be shy. I promise great riches in exchange for a book. Read this book, follow my simple guidelines, and opulence awaits. Überfluss habe ich verstanden. Er wartet mich. Hier ist rechts vor links, ne? Der verrückte Professor. seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. <laughs> oh, shit, no. Get help! Get help! Please, I'm not in my own. I don't want any trouble. God, no, please! Mitten in the city, if that's so good. mich maskiere und den plünder wo sind wir hier eigentlich ist das der friedhof oder
habe ich denn da gerade gelootet? Lungern Landkarten. Lungern Briefe. Schatzkarten, Flugblätter, Zeitungen. Sammlung an Notizen. Ach, den habe ich schon überfallen, okay. Was habe ich für ein Dokument gerade gelootet? Da tagst. Ich das wüsste. Vielleicht eine Schatzkarte? War da eine Schatzkarte drin? Ne, die hatte ich vorher auch schon. Verdammt! Und Mist. sich Dollar umsonst ausgegeben. Kann ich selber noch mal in den Schäbel ziehen? Nee, kann ich wohl nicht. Schade. Nee. Kann ich da jetzt hier jemanden treffen? Das ist bestimmt fliegender Adler oder wie er heißt, ne? Da EF blinkt noch was anderes. So, okay. Gucken wir erstmal dahin. Howdy, fellas. How do you do? One moment, please. This is extremely hey. delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How hmm. can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not 
Really a nymph kind of man. Oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no. I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Hmm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> An artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. You eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer. Oh, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, <laughs> I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Exotische Gegenstände, okay. Hey, y'all. Hello. Sir. Okay there. Mister. Mister. Bonjour. bonjour. All right, girl. Oh, was haben wir denn hier? Das ist der fliegende Adler hier, ne? Sadie möchte irgendwas. Wenn wir schon mal hier sind, dann machen wir das mit dem Flussdampfer. Get yourself some real food, huh? Listen, you have to take this. Oh, that's real kind of you. I lost my money playing poker. I know where a good game is. Above the gunsmith. Uh... Mm -hmm. Real? Hush, hush. Above the gunsmith, huh? Oh, I'll keep that in mind. Okay.
So, wo ist er jetzt? Dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Okay. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bit of jealous people. Kostia Janst. You can see the aristocrat. A very good choice, sir. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might. But perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. You know. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir. Was war ist doch schon praktisch ein Prinz? There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Hello, sir. Okay. How are you? Not great, but there's nothing to be done. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes, don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, 
How does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. <laughs> Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There oh, are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Jim. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple <laughs> stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Can you ask my laufen der Waffe? Closen. Ja. Und wer das da? Deine hat er wieder verschluckt. Komischer Bug. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. So war dann machen das in der Mitte und das Ende. Uns wieder einen neuen Code ausdenken. Diesmal nur drei Antworten. Ähm welchen nehmen wir denn? Welchen nehmen wir denn? Den da. Mal laufen So. Hm. Jetzt noch mal drüber gucken. Da. Code müsste gleich kommen. Da ist er. Gut. Ah, ist eine schöne Mute-Taste zu haben, gerade genießt. Now where can I get a Are you playing tonight, sir? Take a seat, sir. Yeah. We have a chair here with your name on it, Good sir. evening, gentlemen. Arthur Kelly. Sorry, I'm late. I had some... Ah, Moment, that krabbelt in der Nase. Ich muss mir kurz ein Taschentuch holen. Dark we 
all are blind all this time it wasn't fair so much life it wasn't there it's the climb of a life it's a fight and i know i'm gonna fall but he needs broken wings and it's worth it it's the climb of a life it's a fight and i know oh. Viel besser. Unfinished business at the bar. Desmond Fly. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this. Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Nick the Luna, what macht er? But yes, you should have. Hey, <laughs> one moment. <laughs> Okay, sorry boys, I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. It macht ja nicht. Also geh ich raus, wenn der nicht nickt oder irgendwas. Nah, I'm out. I think I'll wait for this seat to warm up a bit. I thought as much. Maybe you should have another drink, Mr. Callahan. Here we go then. Well, hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Mm -hmm. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in a hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. With two damn, I can man schon mal call. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Der macht wieder nüscht. Ist das richtig so? Fold. I'm sorry, my friend. I thought you was a player. I ain't got time to waste on fools and cowards. Hätte ich all in gehen müssen. Der hat doch nicht genickt. are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in a hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. Yeah, hooks the oil. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Pair of cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? 
I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pear cake. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please. Get nee, King Glück gehabt hat, das alles abgekartet. Alles abgekartete Spiel. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. Der Dealer ist befreundet mit einem meiner Kumpels und so alles abgekartet. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> We live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Oh, shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. <laughs> nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away till we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar! Senor? I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. Friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he 
he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friends. Something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! Ah! Come on, Arthur! You gotta get out of here! Something. You don't know. What are you doing? We must move. Flieh vom Flussdampfer. I don't know. This ain't my show. Silly me. I clean forgot to bring my gondola. Got me. Damn it. We gotta go. Come on. I'm not built for this. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch. Uh, Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Ja, ne? Full hat viel RP. <lacht> Siebenhundertfünfzig erbeutet. Zohnt er nie noch irgendwas? Nee, ne? Dann werden wir mal zurück zu dem. Hey Pferd, bist du meins? zu essen gebrauchen. Ja, ist eine Möhre. in den Rhein geritten. Ja, ja. Höher, höher, schneller. Ja, ja, ja. 
Gut, gut. Müssen wir hier noch die Beute abliefern? It's nice place you brought us to, my brother. Yes. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, makes me miss freezing to death in the mountains. <lacht> yeah. Doch so ein Symbol. Ach, Kutschenüberfall. Ja. Ach so. Hello, Arthur. Weiß mal ein bisschen Geld in die Kasse. Wenn so viel mitschleppe, ist ja auch nicht gut. Hey, die hat doch eine Mission. Dann bringe ich erstmal ein bisschen Geld weg. Hallo, Mr. Hier 500 Dollar. Sollte ja alles reichen. Kontrollbuch. Kaufen wir gleich noch Supplies. Ist der, wer hier alles zahlt? Irgendwelche Leute packen 10 Dollar rein und Asa schmeißt hier alles rein. Brauchen wir gar nicht kaufen. Okay, Vorräte gekauft. Haben wir hier noch irgendwelche Sachen? Nee. Wäre noch schön, wenn man da mehr ausbauen könnte. Aber geht leider nicht. So viel Kohle, ich könnte so viele Sachen kaufen. Ich glaube, ich habe da so eine Ahnung, was Sadie für eine Mission hat. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined High Society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> If he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, 
Hey, the tree line. Everybody take cover! Our Driscoll boys are coming! Ja, mit einem Gewehr ist bestimmt besser. So, so ich stehe doch hier gut. Hallo, hol dein Gewehr raus. Ich stehe hier mitten in, im Feuer. Das geht so nicht. Und wegen Asa kommt zurück zum Anwesen. Oh nein! Bin da schneller! Pushing forward! Ach, jetzt mit einmal.
We okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. Saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Sind natürlich die ganzen Leichen weg, kann ich nicht mehr looten. Verdammt. Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. You can? He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. Are you holding up? I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. Ah. Müssen wir mal gucken, was für Missionen jetzt im Angebot sind. Touch is da. Das ist der Indianer. Das ist nichts weiter. Easy killer. That's rich from you. I ain't trying to row you. Believe me. Hey, Arthur. Uh, yo. Sagen, habe ich keine Waffen? Ich habe kein Waffenöl. Ich werde mal zur Stadt reiten und mir ein bisschen Waffenöl kaufen. Ich denn hier? Wollte ich da überhaupt hin? 
Eigentlich nicht, ne? Falscher Bibo. Was ein Doktor? Gemischt worden da. Einmal falsch abgebogen und dann hat man schon fast die halbe Karte. Oder Viertelkarte. <lacht> Nur quert. Oh, ja, habe ich jetzt Geld gekriegt? I can't give you much when you've made such a mess of it. Ja, ja. muss der ja sein, ne? Hier so. Hello, Sir. Welcome to Horner and Co. Got some local cheddar, if you're interested. Mighty fine. Sure, I'll take a look. They sell. I'll take it. Ich habe sogar fünf Waffen, krass. Das ist die Waffe gar nicht so beschädigt. Jetzt einen immer verkaufen. Yeah, I'll take it. 
Dann kann ich nämlich sowas wieder looten. Nicht so was. Ticker. Sure, why not? Okay. Oh, Lade behalte ich. Gut. Na, ja, dann musste ich die Waffe gar nicht fliegen. Wo war denn jetzt der Hehler? Ja, stimmt. time I came in. Oh, you probably mean my brother. Far away from here, I hope, not sullying my good name any further. So you don't know nothing about those fellers he had chained up in the basement? Of course not. I was out of town. Now, is there something I can help you with? I really don't want to talk about that sordid business. Fine, sure. Wow me. Look at you, little hoarder. Reutlinger, 1155. Äh, Und Preis an der Hela verkauft, wer war hier hastet. Reutlinger, a fine, sensual piece of machinery. Und ich glaube, das war das. war schon mal den ganzen Kram verkauft, den ich so mit mir rumschleppe. Ach, kannst du Multiplayer gar nichts verkaufen? Musst nicht da nur bloß einen Heder finden? Hab wie gesagt noch kein Multiplayer gespielt. Ich will erstmal Singleplayer durchspielen. bei dir und bei den anderen so mal ein bisschen reingeschnökert, wenn die online gespielt haben, aber da geht es ja meistens nur um Chatskarten und äh, Sachen finden, hier so eine, so eine Zigarettenbilder und sowas.
Hello, sir. Hier drin und wo oder was? Nee, ne? Dutch, wo ist Dutch? Bestimmt auch zu, ne? Ja. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, sir. Hey, Mister. Hey there. Acting tough, are you? Don't fool me. Yeah, Mister. Schäbige Gasse. Arznei? Ach so. Kein gemischt Warenhändler. Das ist natürlich doof, weil da loot, du lootest ja einen Haufen Scheiß, ne? There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. Well, days in this place you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now I found a friendly ship captain. He's mm -hmm. willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <laughs> we made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Give me Don't your money. Make us kill you. Ain't worth dying. Mr. M, okay. leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one dying. That's your choice, not mine. Kindly. Hand over game. all your Let money my now. Inside. Quick. Okay, take whatever I've got. I said open the gate and let my acquaintance come on. Yes, yeah. of course. Okay, give me everything you got. Quick, what? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That's greasy son of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! Neutrality! Neutrality! Follow me, gentlemen! Go! Now! Go! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so! Hold them on, fellas! We got more on the right! Watch those side alleys, Arthur! We got someone about to be killed! That bastard must have called it! Every cop in the 
position. We got some riders on the left. Arthur, help Lenny out there. Kid, you okay? Ich bin zu alt für so einen Scheiß. Natürlich habe ich nichts bei. Ja, viel Spaß. Wohin?
Komm ich da rauf? Jetzt plündert der noch oder was? Hallo? Scheiß Konsolensteuerung hier. Fast alle. Halbe Stadt um ihn braucht 165 Kopfgeld. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got $15. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. Hey, nee, nee. One Satz mit X. Huch, was war das? Speichern erstmal. Spiel speichern. Einundfünfzig Prozent. So.
Und mehr, das war gut. Und 20. Jemand mit dir macht oder bin wieder Bucky gewesen. Keine Ahnung. Kann ich von hier aus nicht sagen. Machen wir noch so einen Coinbuff. Multiple Choice. Nehmen wir für einen Code. Hm, 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 hm. Sagen wir 32. So. 11. 23, 50 und 32. Safe. Gut. Haben wir hier einen Haufen Kopfgeld? Hm. Reite ich mal zu dem Indianer. Ja. Ich müsste mal noch mal ein paar Behilbelis überfallen. Ne? Gucken, ob ich einen Hof finde in der Nähe, den ich überfallen kann. Was glaube ich der Pferdestall? Den kann man nicht überfallen. müsste die Emerald Ranch sein, die kann man noch nicht überfallen. Kann ich das Pferd nicht bürsten? Thank <laughs> you. 
Mit dem nächsten Hügel, Hügel ja. müsste ja schon Valentine kommen. Da muss ich gar nicht hin. Da stehen schon die Indione. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guard. Ist natürlich klar, dass das Ganze wieder nachts passiert, wo ich kaum einen Stich sehe. mich nicht rin? Was denn? Irgendwo noch ein Eingang. Da kann ich warten, bis ich tot bin und neu anfangen. Oder?
on. You must be Danbury. What? Will you be quiet? Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. One about the oil near Wapiti. Hey. Danbury. Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice hey. floor as this. It's here! It's here! You've done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury. You okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Ich komme hier nicht durch. to watch some of that oil burn <laughs> so you met mr danbury yes don't worry he was very obliging i thought you wasn't getting involved thought you were gonna enter and leave silently thank you you saved my life thank you i hope well i don't know what i hope but who knows maybe these will be of some use here's your money Thank you. This is money. Bandenanteil, die haben gar nicht gemacht, die Vorrunde. Erd, wo bist du? Come on, girl. Ich 
hier hinten nicht schon wieder Valentine? Oder habe ich mich so vertan? von den Leuten nicht noch Geld, Affäre und so weiter. So, you heard anything about any uh, bounty hunters in these parts? Hm, I don't know. Yeah, I was just uh, wondering. Bye now. Hm. Na gut. Zu kommt man hier nicht rein. Oh my. Just a moment, please. You're paying it all off, then. Good for you, I guess. Well, how can I be of service? You hear about the massacre over at the trolley station in San Denis? I knew a fellow who worked there for a while. Terrible business. Ja, wer, wer so eine ähm, Eisenbahnstation überfällt, weiß ich auch nicht. Für 15,25 Dollar. sich alles viel weniger immer. Und war nur noch hier eine Mission. Touch. Wie sehen die Wolken komisch aus? Mal wieder über die halbe Karte peitschen erstmal. Ein Glück, das Pferd hält schon ordentlich lange durch.
Hälfte habe ich bestimmt ja. schon geschafft. Huch, hier hatte ich abbiegen müssen. Dann war ja schon fast wieder da. die schon mal überfallen. Hand over everything you got, miss. No, okay, take it. Just please. This is no good. Please, I want you. Look out. Mercy, why won't anyone help me? Oh my god, no. You got this all wrong, you goddamn fool. Laufen jetzt alle weg, verdammt. Hm. Mist. Hätte besser laufen können. Natürlich haben die gleich ihr Handy mit und können melden. Ich war ja maskiert, eigentlich durften sie mich nicht gesehen haben, wer ich bin. Eigentlich. Mit dem Ansehen sollte das eigentlich gut sein. It's me, Mario. Ja. 
How you been getting on? Good morning, oh, Uncle Arthur. From the ladies' house in the mansion district. I don't like saying to me. It's like a city built on... Built on I don't know what. Built on... So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. Lass mich erstmal ein bisschen Munition sammeln. Ich habe so viel. Jetzt kann ich keine Munition mitnehmen. Ernsthaft? Can we just get this done? Ja. Ich habe kaum noch Pistolenmunition, aber Dutch sagt, wir müssen los. Ne? Ich kann ja alle ein einhändig erwürgen. Settlement called Legras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp, catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Okay, follow me. Thank you. What? For taking my supper. Jose has lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte had... just about everything else in sand and knee in his back pocket. He ought so set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, 
Is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith! I am bending over backwards to make a future for us! I know, but... But? 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 When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. This feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? Anyway, here we are. Let me do... Talking. Hallo. Liegen. Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's going to help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. <laughs> we were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas, more of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunson? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why even swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folks sometimes. The night Hi, folks. Eric. Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Und der mal tiefer hier. Stop 
where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. All right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. <laughs> All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. mir auch was besseres vorstellen als hier nachts im Sumpf rumzurennen. Erstmal putzen. Someone there? A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, it nearly ate me. And where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I fell. Okay. <laughs> And, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I got the scale! It's over here! Stop! I don't know. 
huh? I got it loose. Jump. Good man. All right, let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Now what? I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we clear. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> You'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it.
I've stopped the bleed. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you've got in here! Okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with me. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? you just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. <sighs> well. Mm hmm Yeah, monster. Stoppen wir kurz. Schon wieder eine Stunde am Laufen. Den Code haben wir da genommen. 32. Das wäre dann die letzte Antwort gewesen. Close Raffle. Draw Raffle. Herzlichen Glückwunsch, Arno. Was haben wir denn noch so schön? Nicht mehr viel. Und nehmen wir jetzt wieder einen Code. Na klar, ne? Ähm. Machen wir so. Ja, noch mal, okay. Code Safe und Open Note 27. Und was krummelt doch hier?
Okay, dann noch nicht. Was ist das für ein Kraut? Seidenpflanze. Okay. nur das Lager ab. Pferd. Jetzt zu Dutch. Sonst haben wir ja keine Mission auf. Ne, haben wir nicht. Dann machen wir die. Ja. Okay, girl. There we go. Ja, ja. Er schon wieder. Hey, need a doctor. You got it. You got it. Ah shit. Do something. I'll get you help. Just stay alive. Okay. Okay. Sans Denis. Bring ihn zum Doktor. Jesus. Nein. Der ist doch gleich um die Ecke, ne? Down this chair. Hurry, please. What happened? Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment, but we'll deal with that later. All right. All right. A lot of blood loss. This wound's badly infected. 
I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate. What? What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, I'll give you aye, something aye, for the aye, pain. Aye. We'll get tired soon. And I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> you do not want to see this. Okay. Sorry it's come to this. Buenos dias. Let's go, girl. Buenos dias, senor. Wir rennen hier ja alle auf der Straße rum. Haut ab hier. Ja, ja. zu Dutch. Ja, ja schon. Habe ich die richtigen Waffen dabei? Der ist ja schon wieder so schlecht. Ein bisschen sauber machen. Okidoki. So, Dutch, what's Tahiti like anyhow? I have no idea, but I hear it's paradise. Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. Geht los. <laughs> hey Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. 
Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind's too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you, though, I do. <clears throat> well, I leave and love aside. And <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Mist, das wird schon wieder dunkel. Ich hasse im Dunkeln zu kämpfen. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. Let's go. You see those two? Stay out of sight. Das Touch. Ich weiß ja schon, wir müssen nach oben. Ne? Moika ist tot. Ist gestorben. Nee, eine Amateure.
Natürlich, jetzt habe ich die Knarre nicht mit. Hier war ich schon drin. Mr. Blonte? Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah. Let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Jetzt schon wieder. Lenny ist gestorben. Ey, was soll ich denn noch machen? Ich schlepp den Typen schon. Oh. 
Hallo, ich habe eine Waffe gezogen. Ähnliches Spiel, ey. Ich kann keinen Trank trinken, wenn ich ihn schleppe. Oh, na toll. Na, richtig toll. from where I'm sitting. You're the one deserving a pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men. All your money. It weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me? I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You? You, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you gonna say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> They are good at smelling filth, huh? So oh. filth! has got to be this oh, oh, Our friends of oh, Major are gonna come and rescue you, you oh, repulsive oh, little maggot! Oh, 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 oh. Call them now! You call them! Philosophy books cover feeding a fellow. Good goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Ist er erledigt. Den putzen wir auch mal. War hier schon Mittagstopf am Garn. Kann man ja auch mal was essen. Ich habe ja schon die ganze Zeit immer Geld reingeworfen. Tja. 
zieh dir rein. Jetzt vielleicht noch ein bisschen Munition. Kaum noch Munition. Munition kann man nie genug haben. Okay, haben wir alles. Tum, 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 tum. Sieht aus wie eine Geschichte. Warte mal, mal hier oben. Nee, offensichtlich nicht. Tilly Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city, there are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, I think I agree. We do it at night. There's the drama of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly even blackwater from my understanding you're right let's rob this bastard everyone get some rest we ride out in the morning look smart travel light you got everything arthur sure so we rob ourselves a bank and within Six weeks we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! Yeah! Come on, Hosea, get moving! We ain't got all day! So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina and another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? 
We're just gonna leave that behind. Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some hick town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny. Secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yep. Got it. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? We'll see you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! One more time. Let's ride! Yeah! yeah. Get a hold of that horse, will you? Beim Glück habe ich wieder die, die normalen Pistolen zur Verfügung. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. <laughs> this, this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. Ui. I love it. <coughs> true artist. Gentlemen, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Stupid.
Arthur, you're with me. Let's clear this out. Forget all the drawers, just get those safes open. I need the combination for these safes. Tell him the combination. Come on, speak. Got it. Okay, now, what's the second number? 72. One more number. Last number. Come on! 54. Okay, I'm in. Would you look at that? <laughs> what did I tell you? Get out of here! You got trouble! Looks like you're wrong! Come on! Shit. Let's go! Okay, let's go. Wir haben nur einen scheiß Tresor gebracht. Oh. Shit! Abigail! Dutch! Get out here! Get out here now! Someone must have squealed! Never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <coughs> Let my friend go! For folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? Why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. No more bargains. No more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on. What a new Ich bin noch durch die Wand. Soll ich mich da vorne hinstellen oder was? Oder was? Da oben hin. Oh. 
Ich bin aber schnell. Nein! Oh. Oh. <lacht> ich doof. Zu weit gelaufen. Jetzt fehlt mir die Knarre, na super. Just like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. <clears throat> What now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp, they're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, well, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. We die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, look at us. Okay, if 
follow me and keep your heads down. Stay here. Let's cut through the train. Follow me. Okay, rein. Down between the seats. I hear someone. Hey, I already checked the trains. You did? No more than a quarter hour ago. Are you sure? I'm sure. Geh weiter. Was ist denn das hier? Stay down and keep quiet. We've wasted enough time on these fools. Spencer said. See there? Sure. What you think? I don't know. They're watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well. They ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah, let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently. So, when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Oh, I like it. Real brave. What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me, buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on. We got some gold, I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John. Lenny. Jose. That wasn't good. I know. So what are we gonna do now? 
guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence and find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <coughs> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. Well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. <laughs> what are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our family. At least we got some money now. Money and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you? Willkommen in der neuen Welt. La Marca. Welcome.
drücken. Ich kann nur B drücken, okay. Kapitel 5 Kann ich speichern? Natürlich nicht. It's a miracle. It is a goddamn miracle. Yeah, have, have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody yeah. give him a goddamn drink. Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh, we got you. We got you. So. Where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guam. Javier asked a local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island east of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So, what next? I don't know. <laughs> Well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. Encadenen a estos hombres! Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor, we are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. We were lost at sea, in the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos! Let's go! 
got another group rounded up down the way. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusar. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? No, oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles. And other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. How very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. Be strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. You was going to Scenicraft. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. Meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la cárcel, junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. Cualquier tontería que hagan, disparales a todos. Welcome to Guama, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah! What now, Aiden? I don't know. What do you think? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now, we're stuck, man. Well, for what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. You and me both. <laughs> Wäre schon mal toll, wenn so ein Scripted Event nicht eine halbe Stunde dauern würde, ne? Who are these people? Who knows? Well, they got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. What crime did they commit? Insurrection. <laughs> Insurrection. That's quite a word. Cállate, señor Fuentes. Muévanse. Todos. Reinforcements. Lord, yeah. We need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, David. Everyone, follow me. Quick, David. Come, come, come. Oh, ah. ah. yeah. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. There's a lot of them. Ah. What do you think? We gotta move, Dutch. Go. Don't lose face, son. We'll find you. Cooey, cooey. Go, go. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
What are you doing here? I have no idea. Running <laughs> from somebody or something, I guess. How went we all? Hetul Fontaine. Dutch Vanderlyn. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So. Who is this Fusar? A tyrant, driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Aqua Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. They're little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out, hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. But, I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escaped workers, and then come meet me at the fort. Could you help us get back our friend and get out of here? We will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, they will have him at Futa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well? Goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I... I'm so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill, uh, do some more scouting. Carefully. Since we are all scripted. Speicher, was ist denn dort? Na 
Karte ist denn da? Warum haltet ihr die Leute stundenlang in Quests auf? So, kommen in der neuen Welt, haben wir gespeichert. Dann lösen wir die Reffel auf. Was hatten wir hier für einen Code? Muss ich gleich mal nachschauen. Hm. 27. Das ist denn Nummer 2 gewesen? Herzlichen Glückwunsch den Gewinnern. Ich bin morgen wieder da. Folgt mir auf Twitter, wenn ihr möchtet. Dann sagt Charlie erstmal Tschüss. Bis morgen. Morgen geht's weiter. Bye bye.